Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be my thoughts on Eleven Australia hair care. Um, this is my first time purchasing um, products from this company. I've had my eye on it for a while. Um, I've never, I had never heard of them when I was living in America. And shortly after living in Ireland, I saw their products at a salon and the product that caught my eye was their texture spray, which I've purchased. And um, I love having a texture spray because my hair is super fine. So it's one of my favorite like styling products. Yeah, I was looking to buy a new texture spray. I had always used the brand Kristen S working texture spray that you can purchase at Target. And actually you can purchase it at Ireland or in Ireland at Boots. So that was nice. But before I realized that, I was just trying to find a texture spray they have over here. And that's when I came across this. So anyways, I am going to unbox this now. I'll start off with the shampoo and conditioner. So I got the line I Want Body. So the shampoo says a lightweight shampoo that creates body, volume, and shine for fine hair. Um, and then conditioner, a lightweight conditioner that creates body, volume, and shine for fine hair. I love anything that's directed towards specifically fine hair because yeah, I have fine hair. It's like ultra fine and I don't really have a lot of it. So anything, I'm always trying to make my hair appear fuller and thicker. So yeah, I'm really excited to give these a try. Um, like I said, I've had my eye on them. Um, let's see here, vegan friendly. Yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out is that these are sulfate free. Another reason they stood out was they were, this brand was sold at a place where I got a hair extension consultation. And with hair extensions, they recommend doing sulfate free shampoos, sulfate and silicone free. Anyways, that's a plus for me. The only other thing that um, when it comes to me for hair care is that, well, I highlight my hair and it's pretty hev heavily highlighted. It's kind of hard to see now. If you've seen any of my other videos when my hair's down, you can see it's pretty blonde. Um, so I do sometimes like to incorporate like a moisturizing or a more nourishing product. Sometimes I'll do like the volumizing shampoo from a range and then do a moisturizing conditioner, but I'm going to rock and roll with these and see how it goes. I do have the Joico. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'll put in a picture right here. I have this conditioner and I still have plenty of it left. So even if I alternate between this conditioner and then using this conditioner, maybe it'll be good to go. But anyways, I read some of the reviews. It had good reviews and there were some people in there that had highlighted hair as well. And they were, they were impressed with the product. And then the next, Two items I got was, like I said, the um, dry finish texture spray. I'm really excited to try this. Five ounces. So that's a good bit. Um, yeah, a finishing spray that holds lived in texture and lasting volume. So there's that one. And then I also got the Miracle Spray Hair Treatment. It is a leave-in hair treatment delivering 11 benefits that your hair will love. Um, add shine, smoothness, softness, controls, frizz, and flyaways, moisturizes, strengthens fragile hair, and prevents split ends, detangle and create manageability, protect against heat styling, enhance natural body, repair dry damaged hair, protect hair color with UVA and UVB filters, and prevents sun damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a serum, like, um, I'm not gonna pump it out on my hand now, but maybe I'll put in some footage when I do use this for the first time when I wash my hair. This had really good reviews too. I mean, everything had good reviews. So, so I'm going to check back in when I wash my hair and shower and I'll do probably like a first impression and then maybe I'll do a check-in after a few washes. Yeah, I will check back in later.
Okay, I am back and I have my thoughts for my first impression of the shampoo, conditioner, and the Miracle Spray. And I'm going to use the texture spray here in a moment. But I'm really happy with everything so far. I like the way my hair feels. It feels clean, but not too like producty, um, not too weighed down. It has a nice texture to it. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I can say for now. It, I feel like it did um, give a good bit of volume for my hair. I know my hair might not look like super voluminous right now, but my hair is just so fine that, yeah, it, it, it can only do so much. Like products aren't going to literally work miracles ever, but yeah. I am, I'm happy with it so far. I mean, it's just one use. Sometimes I think it takes like two or three uses to really gauge how much I like it, but I really like it. I wanted to say first that I really liked how the conditioner was the most nourishing feeling conditioner for being a volumizing or body giving conditioner. Um, I'll say like a lot of times that I have used a volumizing set um, I'm not 100% happy with the conditioner usually like this one really made my hair feel conditioned. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes my hair still feels kind of tangly and almost like I didn't even use a conditioner, but that's really not the case with this. I really think this so far off my first impression would be one of my favorite volumizing conditioners that I've ever used. Like I said in the earlier part of this video, I actually lately have been getting a volumizing shampoo and then a moisturizing or reparative conditioner just because of the reason I just mentioned that sometimes it, when I use a volumizing conditioner, it almost feels like I didn't even use one. And then one more thing to note is I use the Miracle Spray and yeah, I mean, I seem to be happy with it so far. Um, I would maybe still use my hair oil in addition to that. I didn't want to use the hair oil today because the Miracle Spray um, has some of the benefits that like using a hair oil has as well. So I just wanted to see how it performed on its own. Um, but I think I would maybe still use my hair oil too. Just, it's mainly just this bottom section here. And uh, that's just from highlighting my hair. My hair's fine. So I feel like it's on the fragile side and um, using heat. So sometimes down here just needs a little bit um, extra TLC. Okay, and then I really enjoyed the smell as well. That's always really nice, of course. Generally with salon hair care, I mean, the smell's never bad. But yeah, I, I, I like this one. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this. The true first impression. Ooh. Ooh. Did I generally... Oh, I was like... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I really like that. And I actually probably could have used a, a tiny bit less than I did. I'm used to having to go in with, um, well, about the amount I just went in with, with the other texture spray I was using. But wow, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, I'll see how it goes throughout the day. I usually end up, I brush my hair a lot. I just do it kind of like, fluffs it out like like for the millionth time I said I have fine hair so it kind of goes flat easily and every time I brush it it just makes it gives it a little body you know so I do brush my hair quite frequently and my point there is that I notice like my texture spray I think like kind of brush it out because I brush my hair so much I feel like the texture spray doesn't always last that long but that's my my problem um I'm really liking this so far I hate um, liking 22, 22 euro products, but that's okay. Um, I, I think because I can get away with not needing that much, that's really good. With my other texture spray, I felt like I needed to use just a little bit more. It was okay. Anyways, sorry, sometimes I over explain things. Yeah, I think that's about it for my first impression. I think I will check back in one more time before I post this video. First impression is I really, really like it. Um, price point is not cheap but you know if the things last they're not something that you go through super quickly then I don't mind too much I'm highlighting my hair so I have to use good hair care and yeah and, and that comes at a price generally so oh you guys I just brushed through sorry I just brushed through after that texture spray and oh my god you guys like this is amazing for me um I do have some extensions in but I mean yeah I've had extensions in for months now, so. Okay, I will see you guys later. 
Okay, I am back for the last check-in of this video. I just washed and dried and styled my hair with the um, 11 Australia hair care products. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. And I would go as far to say that I recommend them. I mean, thus far, especially, you know, if you're a fine-haired girl. Also, I really love that this texture spray um, a little bit goes a long way. I don't know if I mentioned this in any earlier parts of the video, but the Miracle Spray, I said that that was a serum. It is not. The bottle actually is a spray bottle, but if, hold on, actually. You probably won't be able to tell on camera, but when you look at the bottle, it's not liquidy. I can see where the line is. It's like, it's almost like it feels like what a lotion would be like in a bottle. The second time around, I didn't spray it directly on my hair like I did the first time. I sprayed it onto my hand and then rubbed it in my hands and then rubbed it on my hair. And like I said, when I was unboxing, I just like being able to apply the product to my hair that way. I just feel like I'm kind of making sure that I'm getting everywhere when I apply it like that. I guess that's about it. Um, I'm really happy that I tried this brand. Like I said, I had been thinking about it for a while. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in another video.